She wears a flowing white gown and floats through the Littleton Woods. <gasps> Spine tingling, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that she wears white after Labor Day is like the scariest thing ever. <gasps> Sounds kind of like Pierce around a girl he likes. Totally horrifying. <laughs> Pearl Damsel is scarier than Polly's brother trying to impress a girl. More frightening than losing your phone. Twice as terrifying as getting an A minus on your biology homework. Shani, do I have to point out again that there's no such thing as ghosts? <laughs> yeah, it's totally just a made up. <gasps> ah! Pearl Damsel! It's just Philip. Yeah, I knew that. Huh? Escape Pierce's terrarium again, huh? What a smart chameleon. I know you like to explore, but you have to go back to Pierce's room. Go big! <sighs> I can't believe I have to wear this seedling uniform all weekend. That's reason number 37 of why we have to level up to Cupcake at camp. They have purple uniforms. Ooh, I look so good in purple. They should rename it Lila Ack. <laughs> Get it? No? Lila? Lilac? Purple? Lilac? Like the flower? Ugh, anyways. Is this thing on? All we have to do is earn the seedling badges. And stay away from the Pearl Damsel. I hope there's a badge for that. Staying away from something that doesn't exist will be super easy. Jeannie, do you believe in ghosts? I have seen no evidence to prove their existence. But my cousin Tori saw the Pearl Damsel at Girl Squad camp last year. Tori saw it? Oh, she's so stylish. If she believes in ghosts, then so do I. <laughs> what? I pare down to essentials. Three shampoos, four conditioners, six body washes. Watch this. Jeannie, how many shampoos does Lila need this weekend? Showers at Girl Squad Sleepaway Camp. <gasps> that makes every day a bad hair day! Good thing I packed my blow dryer and curling iron. No electricity either. <gasps> That's it! I'm out of here! You can't leave! Whoa. The Girl Squad motto is everybody together. That means we can't leave you behind. <gasps> Tori! Hi, Sean. How you doing? Great! Well, except Polly doesn't believe in the Pearl Damsel. You really saw her, right? Yeah. And I could tell you how I did it, but that kind of knowledge is only for the bravest girls. I'm brave. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do this for just anyone. But since we're cousins, here's a list of the Damsel's favorite things. You have to collect everything and put it in the maple grove under the full moon to lure her out. <sighs> the full moon is tonight. Uh-huh. Good luck, cuz. <laughs> I can't wait to get her badges on. And I can't wait to find all the things on Tori's list. I can help with that. Jeannie, tell us where all the imaginary, Pearl Damsel's favorite imaginary things are. Jeannie, are you there? Talk to me, Jeannie. Did you charge it before we left? No, I was gonna do it here, where there's no electricity. I'll see you when we get back to Littleton, Jeannie. <laughs> One daisy down and 22 more things to find. Easy peasy. Ooh, time for my mid-morning Misty Mountain Moisture Spritz. This is a camp, not a day spa! I'm your camp counselor, Melissa Militant. You are here to earn badges, so start earning! The first badge is the wild ropes! Hit it! Aye, aye, counselor.
Counselor Militant. No backpacks or things inside of backpacks. You don't become cupcakes by taking the easy mm. way out. What about this? It's where I'm keeping the Pearl Damsel's favorite things. Pearl Damsel. <laughs> of course you can keep that. No genie, no backpacks, just a jar full of weird stuff. Ugh. Girl Squad Camp is rough. Lila, you can do this. Come on. I think she wants us to climb. Just as soon as I get a piece of this rare balloon baby spider web. That pearl damsel sure has some weird favorite things. Gigi, I've got them in my sights. Over and in. No, wait. Over and Roger. Over and out. Perfect. Tonight is the night I'll finally get my hands on Polly's locket so I can shrink all of Littleton. <laughs> Gwen, don't let her out of your sight. You can't count on me. Wait, I mean, you count on... I can count on... <sighs> you can camp on me. Oh, if you want to be a cupcake, you best to hang on to those ropes. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Mud bath. I might not get a badge, but my pores are going to look fantastic. If you can't climb, you got to be able to swing. Never know when you're going to need to know how. No way that's a real life skill. One ropes course badge for you. And another one for you. And none for you. You need to finish the course and get your merit badge. Yep. Uh, good thing the minimalist look is still in. For a badge intervention. <sighs> Unless you have a magic wand, Polly, no way I'm gonna be outdoorsy. We're gonna go tiny and find a place to practice. Tiny power! <laughs> when I was studying the layout of the campsite, I noticed a clearing on the other side of those trees. Whoa! What the? Too bad this trap wasn't on the map. I'll make a note of it for my cartography badge. Trap has been sprung! Melissa's gonna find us! <laughs> Who needs an updo when the disheveled look is so happening? Wow, Lila, nice accessory skills. Easier than putting on lipstick with a blindfold. What? Empty! Wait, what? Where did they go? Ah, uh, french fries. Okay, Lila, scale this dandelion and then make a wish that you get your tree climbing badge. <laughs> a better wish would be that this weekend was over already. There's a rock climbing badge waiting for you at the top of that pile, Lila. <laughs> This big rock meanie snagged my favorite sneak. The great outdoors and I are worse together than polka dots and plaid. I'll be a seedling forever. I hate to be the one to interrupt such a dramatic moment, but it's getting dark. 
And we should get back to camp before we become bite-sized coyote snacks. Go Finn! She has to be around here somewhere. What's Polly doing now? She's, uh, she's, uh, you know, doing the things that Polly does. <laughs> Just promise me she'll be at the rendezvous we have planned tonight. Uh-huh, for sure. If you want a Camp Cook badge, you're gonna have to make the best Johnny Cakes I've ever tasted. And I have tasted a lot of Johnny Cakes. First, we mix. What's she doing now? Interloper! If you want your star badge, you have to know the constellations. Those stars represent the zodiac symbol of the crab. That looks nothing like a crab. Ugh, constellations don't make any sense. Imagine them as diamonds in the sky. <gasps> diamonds? Ooh, ooh, I'm so good at this game. What cut and how many carrots? Good thing there's not a Teach Lila badge, because neither of us would get one. <laughs> Lila, you were laying on a perfectly round rock. This is the last thing I need to make the Pearl Damsel appear. Oh, Tori is going to be so impressed. Where's Polly? Ah, the Pearl Damsel! Ghosts are real! Ah! Polly! It's rendezvous time. Just as soon as I figure out where you are. She's gaining on us! Run! Run like everything's half off at the Little Tin Mall! The ghost has traps? Is she going to eat us? I hope not. The scarf is hand-stitched from the finest Yarbarian yak wool. Don't worry. I know how to get us out. Tiny power! <laughs> Ooh, the thread count on this netting is stupendous. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Mission accomplished, Gigi. Gwen? Huh, I knew ghosts weren't real. Too bad nasties who want to steal your locket and use it to shrink everyone in Littleton are. Ha 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 I've got you now, Polly Pocket. Hey, let me go! Gloves! You might be little, but your teeth are still sharp. Bye-bye, little pocket. <laughs> Time to get back to town and put this locket to good use! <laughs> Hey, Tori! Uh, don't spill the tiny beans! Huh? Why is Tori dressed like a ghost? Yeah, so unflattering. And Crazy String is so yesterday's prank. I don't even want to think this, but what if it's a gag that the cupcakes play on seedlings? What if there is no damsel? What if it's Tori? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the target of this gag? But I'm her cousin! Shawnee, if it's true, we'll deal with it later. Right now, we have to get my locket back. Over it and moving on. Let's go! Good thing Shawnee and I aced our tracking badge. We'll find Grizel in no time. Yeah, maybe I was a tad overconfident. Those are Chloe Parmigiano knockoffs, size ten and a half. I'd recognize Grizel's footprints anywhere. Follow those cheap knockoffs! The path out of here is this way! <laughs> you sure this is the right way, Gigi? Just paddle! Paddle! Hey! <laughs> My GPS 
us. What are we going to do? Build a campfire and make s'mores? <laughs> Too bad we didn't do our river crossing badges yet. <laughs> um, nice kitty. If Captain Collie Wobbles taught me anything, that cat's about to pounce! Lila, that's it! We made it! Amazing work, Nature Girl! Yes! I'm lost without my phone. Literally lost! Any hmm? suggestions? Yes. Suggestion to get out of here! Um, sure. Let's go this way. There were probably better ways. Ah! Way to travel. Water soaked knockoffs this way! Help us! Okay, okay! It'll be easier if we're big. Throw me the locket! It's so close, and yet so far! What do we do? That is too far for me. I'm good right here on the nice, safe ground. Come on, guys. We have to save them. You know it's the right thing to do. Yeah, we know, but that doesn't lower the risk factor. <sighs> All right, you two wait here. Leave this one to me. Oh, just shrink me and get me out of here already! I'd have to go big before I can make us both small. And believe me when I say, going big right now is a really bad idea. going to help us, right? We're seedlings, almost cupcakes, and our motto is everybody together. Even you two. How are we going to do that? I saw these amazing belts made out of grass and vines at Eco Fashion Week. If it worked for Bodie Granola, it'll work for us. We made it, Gigi. Now take us back to camp. It's the least you can do after stealing my locket. Pretty sure it's my locket, and I want to keep it that way. So there's only one thing to do. The first aid badge is my favorite. And there's no reason not to earn it with style. Wait! You're going to leave us out here? Don't worry. I've marked the location. We'll send someone to get you. I'm better than average at directions, but it's just too dark. I can't make out any landmarks. Well, we've been following those stars that look like bell bottoms, so camp's that way. Go towards that single star shining brighter than my Lulu Foo Foo mood ring. Who knew that all we had to do to make Lila a real nature girl is add a little fashion? <sighs> so, you ladies made it back. I'm amazed you survived, considering this one couldn't master a single one of the cupcake skills today! Did you see the pearl damsel? No, just the damsel in Parmigiano knockoffs. What is this? I love my badges, but I love my friends more. If Lila isn't a cupcake, then we don't want to be cupcakes. 
Rules are rules. Lila's gotta earn her badges if she wants to level up. But Lila's just as good at this stuff as us. When we were lost, Lila navigated by the stars to find our way back. And she helped us escape a mountain lion and make a rope out of vines and a bow out of bandages. Sounds like you did a lot of cupcakey things. I was more outdoorsy than outdoorsy dirt. Well, welcome to the cupcakes, all of you. Yeah, we did it! Yeah. I sure wish I had a friendship badge to give you. You've earned it. A good seedling always comes prepared with her own badge maker. You mean I could have just made my own badges instead of trying to earn them? Yeah, but what would be the fun in that? The ultimate friendship badges. Now for the most important thing about being a cupcake, figuring out what shoes go with my new uniform. <laughs> and then I said, I'm the Pearl Damsel, and everybody screamed. <laughs> Looks like it's payback time for all the seedlings. Words to live by, you can never pack too much tool. 